Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes, you can hear me. Okay, thank you for attending to today's class. Uh, we will continue with the week number four. Okay, remember this is the class number 14. Okay, and we will continue. So uh, if you remember yesterday, we were talking about the past simple, okay, the verb to be in the past simple. So what are the two forms of the verb to be in the past simple? Can anybody tell me, please? Does anybody remember the two forms of the, the past simple of the verb to be? Do you remember, guys? Was, were, and were. Excellent, that's right. Okay, so we have was, and we have were. That's right. So this is the way we were working with the past simple. Describe, for example, the place where you were yesterday or the play it, or the describe the kind of person you were, for example. So let's share the screen in this moment, everybody, and pay attention to the questions that we had yesterday. Okay, observe, please. These are the questions that we had last night. For example, we have the birth date, right? When were you born? And then you can say here, I was born on December 6, 1996. Uh, this is very similar, remember? This is very similar as when you were when you are talking about your birth, your birthday. Okay, for example, when you say my birthday is on September 10. But the only difference is that here you need to include the year. Okay, I was born on. I was born on, and then you can say, I was born on September 6, 1992, for example, okay? And we have other question here. This is a combination. For example, where were you yesterday? Okay, look at the question here. Where? Yesterday. ¿Dónde estuvo usted? Ayer por la mañana. Where were you? Or let's say last Sunday afternoon. Okay, and then you can respond, for example. I was at home. Yo estuve en casa. I was at home. Okay, so in this case, we are using the past simple. The verb to be in the past simple. Okay. Other question could be, for example, where, where were you this morning? Where were you this morning? I was in my workplace, for example. Okay, so you see, we have different questions here. Okay, everybody, so where were you this morning? Where were you last Sunday afternoon? Okay, let's practice these questions, okay, with, um, with our partners. Okay, let me see. For example, Ibis, where were you this morning, Ibis? Okay, I was uh, care my garden and I was clean my house. My no, house. no, no, in this case, just the place, okay. just the place. Just the place I was in the church, I was at home. 
uh -huh, I was okay. in the supermarket. Yes, just the place. I was at. I was in my house. I was in my house. Very well. Uh, let's see, Jenny. Jenny Melendez, where were you this morning? Hello, Jenny. Good evening. Hi. Can you hear me? Good evening. Okay. Jenny, where were you this morning? I was in my house. I was in my house. Very good. Now let's continue with Alejandro. When were you born, Alejandro? I was born on June 6th. Nineteen ninety three. Okay, nineteen ninety three. Very good. Thank you, Israel. Where were you born? I I was born on. No, where? In, where? Where were you born? In this case, the city. This is about the city. Where were you born? I was born in Usulutan. That's right. I was born in Usulutan. So remember yes. the birthplace yes. is about the city. Okay, it refers about the city where you were born. Okay, thank you, Israel. Now okay. let's continue with uh, Jose Vela. Where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. Okay, in this case, I grew up in San Salvador. So everybody remember in this case, it's referring to, it's referring to the place where you grow up. This is a verb. Este es un verbo que tiene dos partes. Okay, grow up, crecer. Crecer, grow up. So the pronunciation in the question, where did you grow up? Okay, listen, grow up, grow up. But in the question, I mean, in the, in the answer, you say grew, I grew up in. So because it's in the past, okay, it's in the past. So the verb is irregular. Grow up in the present, grew up in the past. Okay, now let's continue. The same question for uh, Kenya. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Soyapango. I grew up in Soyapango, very good. Okay, that's right. Uh, let's see, Jose Sol, where did you study high school? Venga, hola, mire. Um, in uh, element in in Fremen. Okay, I studied. I, I studied, studied high high school in Fremen. I studied in, in Fremen. Fremen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, I studied high school in in Fremen. Very good. Uh, now <clears throat> let's continue with uh, uh, Santiago. Yes. Okay, Santiago, where did you study elementary school? I study elementary school in Centro Escolar Juan José Bernal. Okay, Centro Escolar Juan José Bernal. Thank you. And now, Evelyn, where were you last Sunday afternoon? I was I, at home. I was at home. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with Katia. Katia Monterrosa. Okay, Katia, when were you born? I was born on August 17, 1972. 1972. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, so pay attention to these questions again. Where were you? 
last Sunday afternoon. In this case, I want to know your location. I want to know the place. Quiero saber su, el lugar donde usted estuvo. I was in the supermarket. I was in the church. I was at home, etc. Where were you this morning? I was in my workplace. I was in my house. I was in my father's house, etc. Okay. And after that, remember, this is a different question. When were you born? ¿Cuándo nació usted? ¿Cuándo nació? The birth date. Fecha de nacimiento. Okay. I was born on. So remember, we use the preposition on. Do you remember in the, a few weeks ago, we say, my birthday is on October 16th. In this case, we use the, we were using the, uh, the ordinal numbers. Okay, I was born on October 16th. So the same here, but in this case, you have to include the year. I was born on October 16, 1999, for example. Okay, remember guys, when you are using the years, okay, in this case is totally different when we're talking about the years. For example, in Spanish we say 1985. Okay, 1985. In English, Okay, you, when you express the year, it's like two parts. Como que usted le dice, lo dice en dos partes. 1985. Okay, 1999. 1999. 1980. 1980. Ya del 2000 para, del 2000 en delante. Okay, 2000. Okay, 2006, 2001, 2020, 2014, etc. Okay, everybody. Now let's see. Let's practice. Let's practice some of these questions here, everybody. Now, uh, remember when we talk about school, when we talk about school, we have elementary school. First year, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth year. The primero, sexto. Middle school is what we call in El Salvador, tercer ciclo. Okay, middle school. And after that, we have high school, bachillerato, high school. Okay, remember, don't say college. No. Oh, for example, you say, I studied in college La Asunción. No. Okay, college. Which is totally different, everybody. Okay, when you say college, this is university. Don't confuse this word, everybody. College. Okay. Don't confuse this word, college. Ah, se parece español, es colegio. No. Okay, college is university. University. For example, you say, I study economy in college. Yes, una carrera de educación superior, no? I studied a psychology in college. Yo estudié psicología en la universidad. So this is different. Okay, don't confuse it. Okay, colegio, lo que le decimos acá en El Salvador. This is high school. High school. It's totally different. Okay, it's a different idea. Okay. Now let's take a picture, everybody. Let's take a screenshot here. Vamos a tomarle un screenshot, una captura de pantalla. Take a screenshot, take a picture. If you are working with a computer, if you are working with your laptop, take a picture, please. Because we are going to work in the rooms. Vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms, en las salas. Okay? So in this case, I will give you a room and you work with a different classmate. Okay, work with a different class, work in pairs. Usted va a trabajar en parejas. And with that pair, 
you will use these questions, okay? For example, imagine that I am working with, uh, a, with Jose, for example. So I ask him one question, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. And then he asked me a question. Yo le pregunto y él me pregunta, and so on, okay? Choose different questions here. So let's take the picture, please. Take a picture or take a screenshot. Captura de pantalla or a photo. Now let's do it, everybody. Okay, everybody, here we go. Okay, here we go. Practice the questions, please. Practice, practice the questions. So accept the invitation, please. Acepta la invitación. Accept the invitation. Here we go. Teacher. Yes. Uh, tuve, tuve problemas con el Wi-Fi. No, no sé cuáles fueron las indicaciones. Ah, okay. You have to work with a with a classmate. Ah, okay. Let me see. Let me assign. Okay. Okay. There you are. Accept the invitation, please. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. You're welcome.
Where, where were you last Sunday afternoon? Can you repeat, please? Where were you last Sunday after? Hago la siguiente. Iba José, pero sí, no sé. Uh, pregunto yo. Uh, Ay, vean where were you uh, casi no, where were you uh, this morning I was in my workplace I was at the last one where did you study elementary school I study elementary school in Centro Escolar Salguero. Where we were to elementary school? Uh, the school name is was Francisco Egalindo in San Vicente. In a clinic. In a clinic. Where were you born? I was born in Chalatenango. Okay. Chalatenango City. Where did you grow up?
Okay, guys, let's continue. Did you practice? Did you practice the questions? Yes? Yes. yes. Fantastic, very good. So let me present the questions one more time. So these are the questions that we practice. For example, where were you uh, last Sunday afternoon? Where were you this morning? Uh, the other question was, when were you born? Where were you born? Where did you grow up? Okay, where did you study high school? Where did you study elementary school? Etc. Okay, now everybody, I want you to please remember some of the questions that we have here. Okay, let's remember some of the questions. Vamos a hacer memoria de las preguntas. Okay, pero sin hacer trampa. Sin hacer trampa. Try to remember two questions and ask me. Ask me two questions, please. So let's start with uh, uh, Santiago. Santiago Ramirez. Two questions for me, Santiago, please. When were you born? Okay, I was born on September 6, 1981. Number two. Where did you study high school? Okay, I studied high school at a Ricaldon School. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with um, Katia Monterrosa. Katia, two questions for me, please. Um, when were you born? Okay, I was born on September 6, 1981. Where, where, where were you last Sunday afternoon? Ah, last Sunday afternoon, I was in uh, Multiplaza. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Katia. Now let's continue with uh, Karina. Karina, ask me two questions, please, Karina. Where did you grow up? Where did, did, did? Where did, where did? Uh -huh. Repeat, repeat the question. Where did you grow up? Okay, I grew up in San Salvador. Number two. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Karina. Thank you, teacher. Now, let's continue with Israel. Israel, two questions for me, please. Okay. Where did you uh, study elementary school? Okay, I studied elementary school at Don Bosco School. When were you born? Okay, I was born on September 6, 1981. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Israel. Thank you very much. Now okay. let's continue with uh, Jose Sol. Okay, Jose, two questions for me, please. When were you born? Okay, I was born on September 6, 1981. And I have any question, teacher. And En el año, ¿por qué se pone así como partido? Ah, ok. Yeah, only for years. Solo para los años que lo ponemos así. Ya si es, por ejemplo, una suma de dinero, ahí sí sería. Ok. $1,998, por ejemplo. $1,998. Mm -hmm. $98. Only for years, it's, a, it's in two parts. Así como también en el año 2000. Se puede decir, por ejemplo, 2021. Okay, you have uh, two alternatives. Mm -hmm. 2021, 2021, 2021. Or you can say 2021. 21, okay. Or mm -hmm. for example, 2014, 2014. Or you can say 2014 too. Okay. 
Okay, okay. the last question. Okay. Dice, when were you born? Oh, no, other, other question, other question, please. Where were you last, last name? No, last Sunday afternoon. Okay, where were you last Sunday afternoon? Uh, I was in multi, multi plaza last Sunday afternoon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with a different classmate. Let's see, Kenya. Okay, Kenya, two questions for me, please. Mm, where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. Um, where did you study high school? I studied high school at Ricaldone, Ricaldone School. Okay. Thank you. Now let's continue with Jose Vela. Okay. Uh, when were you born? I was born on September 6, 1981. Okay. Where did you study middle, middle school? Okay, I studied middle school in the Don Bosco School. Okay, thanks, teacher. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, um, Israel, two questions for me, please. Where did you study high school? Okay, I studied high school at Ricardon School. Where were you born? Okay, I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Thank you. Now Thank let's you. continue with uh, Jenny Melendez. Jenny, two questions for me. Try to remember, please. Okay. Where were your parents born? Okay, my father, my father was born in San Salvador and my mother was born in San Miguel. Um, where, where did you grow up, my, your father? No, in this case, where did your father grow up? Mm -hmm. Okay, my father grew up in San Salvador. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Now let's continue with Ibis. Okay. Um, where were you last Sunday afternoon? Last Sunday afternoon, I was in Multiplaza. I was shopping. Okay. And where were you this morning? Uh, I was in my workplace this morning. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with uh, Evelyn. Evelyn, two questions for me, please. Where did you study elementary school? Okay, I studied elementary school at uh, Don Bosco School. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. And now let's continue with Alejandro. Alejandro Rivera, two questions for me, please. Okay. Um, where were you last Saturday noon? Saturday? Noon. Saturday afternoon. Saturday afternoon. I was in Multiplaza, I was shopping. Okay. In... Where were you this afternoon? Okay, this afternoon I was in my home. I was at home. Okay, thank okay. you Alejandro. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now everybody, Let's continue with a very interesting activity in this moment. In this moment, 
uh, you will have a you will describe your biographic information. Observe, please, everybody. In this case, you will describe your biography. Okay, va a describir su biografía. My biography. My autobiography, for example. Okay. Now, when you describe your autobiography, cuando usted describe su autobiografía, you need to include the name first. For example, you say, my name is Jose Roberto Salmeron. I was born on September 6, 1981, for example. I was born in San Salvador. Okay, and then I describe information about my family. Observe this, this is a combination about the present and the past. I have two brothers and two sisters. My parents are Joel Lopez and Ana Gomez. My father is a teacher and my mother is a doctor. Okay, and then we continue about the education. I studied elementary school and middle school in in the Don Bosco School, for example. After that, I studied high school at Ricaldone. And I graduated in 2001. Okay, I graduated in, 2000, in 2001. Me gradué en el 2001. Okay, so in this case, I am using different structures to describe my autobiography. Bien, eso es lo que vamos a hacer en este momento en el chat. Okay, in the chat, okay, you come here and describe your autobiography. Okay, so I say, for example, my autobiography. My name is, and then you include one name and one last name. After that, okay, the complete information about your birthplace. The complete information about your birthplace. Su información completa de su fecha de nacimiento. I was born on September 6. Remember, here we are using the ordinal numbers. Aquí estamos utilizando los números ordinales. I was born on September 6, 1981. Y ahí los signos de puntuación son importantes. I was born in San Salvador. I have two brothers. And two sisters, for example. So in this case, the number of brothers and sisters that you have. El número de hermanos y hermanas que tiene. Okay, after that, you say my parents are Carlos Almeron and Emilia Avalos. My father is a doctor and my mother is a teacher. I studied elementary school, then your education. So in this case, if you, you can say, for example, I studied elementary school and middle school. Yo estudié primaria y tercer ciclo en, and then the name of the school, for example. Centro Escolar Francisco Morales, Centro Escolar eh, David Quiñones, etc. Then high school. I studied high school 
in the Caldon School, for example. And then you say the date of the graduation. La fecha es cuando usted se graduó. I graduated from high school in 2001. Yo me gradué de bachillerato en 2001. After high school, I studied at college. Okay, everybody pay attention to the chat. This is my autobiography. Okay, this is my autobiography. Entonces, cuando ya la tengan completa, cuando ya la tengan completa, ahí la compartimos. Okay, let's do it, everybody. Let's do it. This is the model. Ahí tienen dos modelos. The model that you see on the screen and the model that you have in the chat. This is my autobiography. This is my autobiography. Now share your autobiography, please. Ahora comparta la suya. Comparta su autobiografía. Okay, let's do it, please. Okay, if you have questions, ask me, please. Si usted es hija único o hijo único, entonces ahí usted le pone, I don't have brothers or sister. I am an only child. Yo soy hijo único, soy hija única. I am only child.
Okay, let's check your descriptions. Teacher. Yes, yes, tell me. Uh, aprovechando la pausa, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, podría darme unos ejemplos de uh, preguntas en pasado usando WH plus was. Yes, for example, like where were you yesterday? ¿Dónde estuvo usted? Where were you yesterday? Uh, Yesterday morning, for example, these are questions, the WH questions using the verb to be in the past. When were you born? Where were you born? Where were you uh, just uh, last Sunday afternoon? Let's el was, el was. Ah, ahí está en tercera persona. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, le pregunto, where was your sister yesterday? Donde estuvo uh -huh. su hermana ayer? We only change uh -huh. was in the subject. Where okay. was your best friend last night? Donde estuvo su mejor amigo? O puede también hacer la pregunta cuando nació. Uh -huh. Cuando nació su hermana? When was your brother born? When was your brother born? Uh -huh. My brother was born on... Uh, December, December 10th, 1992, for example. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in this case, we are using was. Cuando es en tercera persona. Y para Where was. I, también se usa. Uh -huh, cuando se está como auto preguntando. ¿Dónde estuve yo? ¿Dónde estuve yo ayer? Where was I? Yesterday. Where was I? Oh, okay. ¿Dónde nací yo? Where was I born? Ahí como, se, ahí como que se auto pregunta. Uh -huh. okay. Where was I born? ¿Dónde nací yo? I was born in San Salvador. Ok. O en tercera persona, cuando se está refiriendo a alguien específico. Where was Jocelyn this morning? Where was... Jennifer born. When was Carla born, etc. Uh, okay. Okay. That's very good. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome.
Ok, everybody, remember the ordinal numbers. Por ejemplo, cuando es 23, 20, sin. Ok, the standard form, 20, third, 23rd. 23rd. Don't forget that. Ah, in this case, Ibis, 23rd, 23rd, 23, 23 de diciembre, December 23rd, para mañana tienen un pequeño reto okay. for tomorrow you have a challenge for tomorrow you have a presentation okay what will you say in this presentation in this presentation you will say your autobiography You will describe your autobiography. En esta, en este reto, usted va a presentar su autobiografía. Ya nos lo presentó así de forma escrita. Ok. And tomorrow, okay, you have to turn on the camera and the microphone and make your presentation. Ok. Para mañana, hace su presentación, activa la cámara y el micrófono. But Don't read, please. Don't read. Sin leer. Okay, sin leer. Tiene que aprenderse. Okay, describe your autobiography. Okay, that's exactly the same what you have in the chat is what you will say. Exactamente lo que tiene en el chat es lo que nos va a decir. Okay, so if it's possible, take a picture now, everybody. Tome una fotografía ahí en el chat para para que la pueda verificar. So exactly the same. My name is Jose Roberto Salmeron. I was born on September 6, 1987, 1981, sorry. I was born in San Salvador. I have two brothers and two sisters. My parents are these, this. My father is a teacher. My mother is a nurse. I studied elementary school, I studied middle school, I studied high school, I graduated, etc. Okay, so you have to describe your autobiography. Okay, questions, everybody? Questions about this activity? Alguna pregunta relacionada con esta actividad? No? Okay, so for tomorrow, don't forget it, please. For tomorrow, you have a presentation. Para mañana tienen una mini presentación. Okay, describe your autobiography. Describir su autobiografía. Okay? okay? So, thank you for your attention, everybody. Study the autobiography and see you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Okay, see you. Goodbye. Good night. Good night, Hi. everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you Good tomorrow night. at nine o'clock.